Hey everybody, welcome to the History Reader. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be reorganizing my bookshelves and my reading nook. Uh, you can see actually behind me, I've already put up my picture of Winston Churchill there. Actually, I'll just turn this around. I've already put up the picture of Winston Churchill and I've started reorganizing. I think the plan is going to be all non-fiction is going to be on this side. Um, and it's going to be done in alphabetical order by the author's name. And then I'll add some other stuff on this side. The reason I want to do it over here is because this serves obviously as my video background and also zoom background. So I want to get stuff over on this side. It's kind of difficult to arrange things by alphabetical order. Just because I don't know off the top of my head. Like, oh, I mean, like, what's the next book I've got to go find and put there. So you end up ordering a bunch of books along and then you realize how oh, I had one more I need to put there and then you have to shift everything along. So it's taking a little bit of time. You can see I'm in progress, but I'm liking actually how it looks done in alphabetical order, but it means I don't end up with a lot of the penguin uh, orange spines next to each other. So we'll see how it goes. I will show you the results and give you a tour uh, at the end. Okay, so I finished doing it now. So I thought I would give you a tour of the reading room. So this is in an entrance hall in uh, our apartment. And sort of behind these bifold doors, we've got a small room. It's supposed to be a study, but I've set it up as a reading room slash library slash place to keep my books. So on the wall up there, I've got a print of Winston Churchill and I've got a lamp there, uh, which gives a nice sort of warm light and a chair. It's not the comfiest chair of all time, but it does the job. And I'll get a footrest or something in here at some point. Um, so then I've reorganized the books. So they're all on this side. That's basically just so that I, I chose that side so that I have a nice background for my videos. And they are arranged in roughly alphabetical order by the author's name, but it's not 100% perfect, uh, just for various reasons. Um, and then on this side, I have my couple of fiction books up here, uh, some bigger hard covers that are nice just to display, um, some more fiction and odd kind of non-fiction. I've got some picture, like some photograph books here and stuff, and then textbooks down there from uni days. So we'll go through because uh, I've expanded my uh, library of books since we last spoke, we'll go through and talk about some of them. So here we have uh, Lords of Finance by Liamat, Liaquat Ahmed, Ahmed, sorry, um, Stephen E. Ambrose's books, A Band of Brothers here, All the President's Men, uh, The Courage to Act by Ben Bernanke. I've got some of Anthony Beaver's books running here. Uh, that Jeffrey Blaney, History of the World, The Power Broker, uh, Carl von Clausewitz's On Wall, A Man on the Moon uh, by Andrew Chaikin. This is the best book, or probably one of the two best books. The other one is Apollo by, uh, I forget now, I think it might be Charles Murray. Um, but this is one of the best books I've read on the space program. It focuses on the experiences of the astronauts themselves more so than the program itself. Uh, Ron Cherno's books that I've got, so House of Morgan, Hamilton, and The Warburgs, a book on the Constitutional Convention, King Richard by Michael Dobbs, got The Third Reich at War, The Coming of the Third Reich, and The Third Reich in Power. I'm using these fairly frequently for research at the moment, that's why they're not in order. Capitalism in America by Alan Greenspan, uh, Neil Ferguson's The House of Rothschild, David Garrow's the biography of Barack Obama, Adrian Goldsworthy Caesar, two books by Marsha Gessen, one on Putin, one on sort of the fall of the Soviet Union and how totalitarianism reclaimed Russia, Death by David Graver, I, You, We, Them by Dan Gresson, a uh, video on this will be coming soon. Uh, another book on the age of civil wars in the United States, which I haven't read. Max Hastings' Vietnam, 
First Man by James Hansen, Tom Holland's Dynasty, David Horner's History of Azio, uh, On Intelligence by John Hughes Wilson, Einstein by Walter Isaacson, and a series of essays about uh, Native American culture and politics. Um, Post-War by Tony Judd, uh, Ian Kershaw's Hitler, and his entries into the Penguin History of Europe, Roller Coaster, and To Hell and Back. Uh, simple, simple Justice. This is about uh, Brown v. Board of Education and uh, the Civil Rights Movement uh, book. This one is on To the Ed This is the Edges of the Earth. It's about the race for the Poles and for Everest. Uh, Monash, Stephen Kotkin Stalin's Volume 1 and 2. Frederick Logerval's JFK, uh, Castle of Steel by Robert K. Massey, Mark Mazower's Dark Continent, David McCullough's presidential biographies are here. Um, I'm actually reading the one on Teddy Roosevelt at, uh, at the moment, so that's in another room. I've got the three volumes on History of the Federal Reserve here, um, Barack Obama's books, uh, so Dreams from My Father, Audacity of Hope, and The Promised Land. And then I've got a collection of his speeches here. Ally by Michael B. Oren. This Time is Different by Reinhardt and Rogoff. Uh, Andrew Roberts Churchill and his Napoleon, as well as the short one on Waterloo. Uh, Breaking News by Alan Rundberg. I've not read that. All Out War by Tim Shipman, which is about the Brexit uh, campaign. Cruel and Shocking Act about, by Philip Shannon, which is about the Kennedy assassination. Romanovs by Simon Sebag Montefiore, Lennon by Victor Sebastian, Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen, um, Warren Buffett by Alice Schroeder, Churchill and the King by Kenneth Weisbrod, KL, A History of the Nazi Concentration Camps by Nicholas Fuxman, Five Giants by Nicholas Timmins, Mega Change, which is an economist book, uh, Noam Chomsky's Manufacturing Consent, Tim Flannery's The Climate Cure, and The Patriarch, which is about Joseph P. Kennedy here. So those are kind of the main books that I've got. Uh, I've obviously spoken about a lot of them on the channel. Some of them are coming. I've read some of these, but haven't made videos on them yet. And yeah, that's basically the setup in here. So um, it's, uh, so I've got, so yeah, that's basically the setup in here. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was a little bit difficult to get them all in order, just because when you fill up a shelf and then you realize another one needs to go in there, you then have to start moving books down and shifting them around. It gets a little bit difficult, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And uh, let me know if you guys have read any of these books and what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.